you know, just had to get that siren in there if you guys couldn't hear it. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, guys. It's Kristen with another Chance Resale. I am a full-time reseller, and in this video, we're going to go through some jewelry that I've had. I've gotten a bunch of different lots over the past couple of weeks that I <clears throat> go through for jewelry for my monthly subscription boxes. Those went out last week. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about what a mystery jewelry subscription box is, check out the description box down below and I will have a link to my Patreon where you can find out all about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some jewelry. I have um, a whole bunch of different things. As you can see, I have this beautiful... Uh, I can't even get it all in the shot here. There we go. Beautiful mother of pearl tray that I thought would be gorgeous on somebody's dresser with either jewelry in it, rings, you have your perfume bottles, you know, some bracelets. Maybe you could even put your, um, you know, bracelet holder or ring holder on here. I just thought it was a really pretty piece. Um, it is pretty thick and I will measure it. It is 14 and 3 fourths inch by 11 and a half. And I am going to ask 15 on this if anybody is interested. It does have like a little lip where it can go down a little bit. So I just thought this was really pretty. If somebody would like to display their jewelry or, you know, perfumes and such on their dressers or even in their bathroom on their counter, I thought this would be really nice. So if anyone's interested in this, it is 15. Sorry about that. That was my accountant. Okay, so let's move this guy out of the way. And I have this little cutie that I thought would be adorable for someone's dresser. This is by Ray Dunn. It's a little um, like ring holder, earring holder. Um, so I just thought this was cute. It's small and it is five by a little over five inches always. And I'm gonna do 12 on this. Somebody would like that for all their rings or such, or maybe a cute little Valentine's gift for your daughter or niece or somebody. I think that's really cute. So $12 on that. Okay, then we're going to go into the jewelry. So if you are interested in anything that you see in this video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always down in the description box and also check out the sold list I will have in the comment section. Uh, it just helps with the amount of emails that I get um, and getting back to you guys in a timely manner. So um, just give me a timestamp and a screenshot or a screenshot or a description of what you're interested in and um, shipping starts at $5 and I accept PayPal. All right, let's First, get we're started. gonna start with these earrings, which I think um, they were sold to me as Brighton, so uh, that's what I'll sell them to you guys as they do have a little bit of wear at the top here at, on the ear wires. I don't really wouldn't say wear, I would say kind of like tarnish, but I think they're really pretty. And I'll give you a measurement on them. They're about one and a half inches, and I'm just gonna do 12 on these. I think they're really pretty. Oh, let me turn on Pressy because I just actually tested these, and I, I covered my boo-boo, so don't mind that. Um, I just tested these before I started the video, and these are sterling silver. And I wanna test the gems because they do feel cold, so we'll see if they are glass or, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna put those on the side while I, while Pressy is starting up. This is really cute. This is not sterling, but it is very cute. And I'm also gonna test this to see if it's, um, I think it's glass, but it might be, who knows what it might be. So, 
But um, so we'll put that to the side and then we'll get into this lovely box of jewelry that I have to go over with you guys. I have gone through all of this already because um, like I said, I was um, prepping for my jewelry boxes, my subscriptions. So let's see what these are. Okay, they're just glass. Oops. Oh, these are coming up as, ooh, maybe, maybe these are something. Okay, so this one is just glass, but these little green ones Now I'm wondering if that would be a citrine, but they're kind of greenish. Aren't citrines more of a yellow? Um, and then there's little, are there little, yeah, there's little like clear ones around. So let's, oh my gosh, they're diamonds. See, aren't I glad I tested this? So there's diamonds all the way around the green here. And then I'm sure that it's diamonds up here too. If I can, you know what? I don't think there's anything around the top. I think it's just metal. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a diamond. Like every so often around here. It's not all diamonds though. So that was interesting. All right, and let's do this one really quick. So that's just glass. All right. So the earrings, sterling silver, a few diamonds. I mean, probably not citrine because they're green. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the description. I mean, in the comment section. Glass, sterling silver, really pretty. They are marked on the post. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do 30 on these. These are really pretty. Okay, and then this one is not sterling and is glass. It is a nine inch wearable length. So we will just do um, $8. Okay. We have a, a pair of sweater clips. These are really nice. They have like a rose on them. They're gold tone with the pearls in between. There is some slight wear to the pearls and the gold tone, but the clips themselves are really nice. Um, I'll just do five on those. Okay, this is really pretty, but there's, a, there's some wear to the necklace itself. And it says patent pending. I don't know. I just couldn't really put this into craft because I think it's really pretty, especially that part. So I don't know if anyone would be interested in this still, but you would you lift the top here and then you would unclasp one to get it on. Which I think is pretty cool. And there's no missing rhinestones. Um it is quite small. Let's actually measure it. Yeah, it's a 15 inch total length, so it's definitely going to be a choker. Um, but I'll just do five on this too, since there is somewhere to the little mesh chain here. Okay, we have a brooch. Am I, is my lighting, hold on. Is that a little bit better? Um, red, these are just plastic, not marked. We'll do $4. 
This one I thought was so pretty. Ugh. It is a vintage stretch bracelet. And I don't... Okay, so it was marked, but it says Japan right there. Look at the inside, how good of condition this is. So nice. All the rhinestones are there. We're going to do $8. I don't know how much of this box we'll get through, but we'll see. We will see. This little guy is stuck in the back here. Come on. All right, well, it, it goes in the front. So we have this cute little blue dangle necklace with a with an extender. It's at seven and a half inches right now, but you can make it a little bit longer. We have a hair that I can't get up. There we go. So we'll just do four on this one. We have a nice big clamper. This is unmarked. It's kind of like a cream ivory color. All the rhinestones are here. Um, there is some very light wear to this big faux pearl. But other than that, it's really nice. I'll do four on that. This is an Avon key stick pin. So really cute. Uh, silver tone, really nice condition, $3. This one doesn't have a maker mark. Wait, did it say something on the other side? No. But it's very pretty. You just get it untangled. Kind of reminds me something 1948 would do. But look how pretty that is with the pearls. I do believe these are real pearls um, with the Aurora Borealis rhinestones. Really, really pretty. A nice dangly necklace. Very girly. Um, there is an extender, but without it, it sits at about six and a half inches. So you'll probably need the extender. Um, but a nice collar necklace, really pretty gold tone, and I'll do $8 on that. All right, we have this pretty brooch. It is unmarked with the little rhinestones. We'll do five on that. Here's a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Nice blue. It's like a bluish green stone. Eh, I would say it's more blue. It, I don't believe this is sterling. No, it, I mean, it's peeling a little bit on the inside right there. Not peeling, but like worn. So, and this doesn't even feel like it's, oops, glass. No, but that's all right. It's still pretty. It's got a little bit of wear on the back and it's a size eight. So we'll just do five bucks. We have these cool earrings. These are screw backs with those nice cabochons in there. We'll do four on those. Here's another stick pin, little mushroom, gold tone, not marked. Do $3. This is a, I think these are faux. Yeah, these are faux pearls, but they have the tricolor. So it's it's got that like champagne color, the white, well, I should say off-white, and then the gray. Eight and a half inch wearable length. And we'll do five bucks. Here's another little ring. This one's really tiny though. It's by the brand Celebrity, which is a pretty good brand. It's a sun. It doesn't even fit on my pinky, but it's very pretty. It's in really good shape. It's only a two, 
we will do five dollars if it was a bigger size i would probably be charging ten <laughs> but it's a teeny tiny this is sarah coventry really nice gold tone with the um almost like a diamond cut star pattern it's got a slight wear but it's not too bad it's an eight inch circumference oops and we'll do five dollars let me just get a sip of beverage here the um the pizzeria by me makes their own soda so i just that was i thought that was cool and i love black cherry Alrighty, we have this gold tone necklace. I think this did have a maker mark on it. It was somewhere, it was in like a weird spot. Hold on. Here. Napier. Okay, and it's gold tone. It's got all these lovely links. Some of them are uh, have this like uh, textured pattern to it, and some are plain. I'll give you a total length on this one. It's 17 inches total, and let's do $8. Also, this Saturday at 6 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, me and Kimmy, Soho, California Vintage, will be having another live jewelry auction here on my channel, and um, you're all invited, so I hope to see you guys there. We will be coming out with a reminder video, and I will also um, create the live stream so that you guys can click set reminder down at the bottom so that you'll get a reminder to your email and your um YouTube app when we go live. Yay! Okay, so this one's really cool. I think this is a, well, I guess it could be a choker, or you can wear it as a wrap bracelet. Really pretty. They are glass beads in there. So let's do $5. This is Sarah Coventry, a nice braided, I should say twisted mesh necklace, seven and a half inches. We'll do um, seven and a half inches, that's wearable length. We'll do $6. This is Chico's. It's long, so I'm gonna attempt to show you this slowly. So it's blue, it's got all these really pretty beads. They have these silver beads, and then these long cylinder-like beads, and then you have almost like a tassel with the, those long cylinders again. They're almost like a wood. I don't know if they are exactly a wood or maybe just a plastic to look like it, but it's very pretty. It's in very good condition. It does have an extender. So let's give you guys a measurement without the extender. It's 12 inches wearable to the tassel and then it's another seven inches of tassel. <laughs> so we're gonna do $10 on this one. Very pretty blues. We have a Betsy Johnson it is new with tag, but it must have been sitting with other jewelry that kind of discolored the links, or maybe they're supposed to be like that. I don't know. But it's a charm bracelet, and you have all these cute little charms. Shoe, a key, a ring, a tea kettle, a mirror, a clock. You have a little froggy. It's all very like uh, fairy tale esque. A little book, a pen, a chair, a heart. So really nice. You have your Betsy right there, and it almost looks like maybe this was added. I don't know, but this is how I got it, and it could be either seven inch or eight inch, 
and we will do um, we will do ten dollars. Okay, next, what's this? I have an earring. Where's the other one? All right, I'm not sure yet, so we'll put that away. This little stick pin doesn't have its bottom, <laughs> so we'll just do a dollar. This I thought was pretty cool. This is by Bobble Bar. Got these acrylic, big acrylic, chunky, clear links, and then it comes to this big pendant. You have all these different colors, really pretty, really nice condition. Here's the bobble bar. It does have an extender, but without it, we're looking at nine inches wearable to the pendant, and then another four and a half inches of pendant. So let's do $8 on this too. Eight dollars. This is cute. I thought this was J. Crew, but there's no tag on it. It's just a um, silver tone and faux tortoise link bracelet with the lobster claw, and it measures in at seven and a half inches. And we will do six dollars on that. Oh, and since it is a new week, if you guys would like me to hold your items through the end of the week, um, just save on shipping. You can shop all my videos through the week. I will just send you the invoice for your items um, in order to hold them um, here and um, hold off on charging and shipping. So just let me know in your email if you would like to do that. Uh, that way we're not like going back and forth with emails so much. Um, also you got, you guys are, you guys can email me as you're watching, um, to, you know, claim items. Just make sure you let me know in the email that you're still watching or still shopping. Um, that way I don't get, you know, the, the invoices together and send them out prematurely. So just let me know that. And then that's no problem as well. So this one is from Steinmart. Really pretty silver tone with these, um, purple glass beads. It's a double layer. It does have an extender, but without it, we're looking at eight and a half inches wearable. Really pretty. We'll do six on this one since it's new with tag. This one, you guys, <laughs> is so big and chunky. Now, if you want to see a honker necklace, Chico's, you know Chico's would be the one to have it. So let me just get it untangled here. All right, it's a little tangled up at the top, but you get the point. So there's the Chico's. It's got this really nice suede cord. And then down at the bottom, boom, look at this ginormous pendant. It's got these like, it almost looks like a very thin piece of shell, pieces of shell in there. But look how big it is. Huge in very good condition. Look, it's four inches by three and a half. That's massive. It's, it's light, it's pretty lightweight, believe it or not. So that's good. But, um, the length of the necklace is a 17 inch wearable length and we will do $10 on this one. All right, we got a little bit of a tangle here too. Ay ay ay. What happened? Sorry guys. I don't know how it Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, All right, sorry about on. that. Here is the necklace. It's gold toned with these rhinestones. I love that one in the middle there. Very pretty. 
Um, it has a little hook closure, oops, hook closure up here. You can pick any of these slots to put it in. So let's just measure it without all the extensions. Um, it's six and a half inches wearable, and then it can go another two and a half inches. So really pretty on this one, really unique. I don't think it had a maker, no. Um, we'll do $5. Let me keep this one separate so it doesn't get tangled with anything else. <laughs> okay, this one's cool. This is a, I almost thought this was um, one of the Russian brooches, but um, it's not. It's, I looked this up and, jeez, I forget what it is, but it's very pretty. It's not anything like crazy expensive. It's 12 inches wearable. It, this is very lightweight. Um, we'll do $5. Okay, and then we have this little ring. I actually wanted to see what, if these were anything too. Uh, yes, they are. It's a Sarah Coventry though. She has genuine stones on her rings. What? That's the yellow. Here's the purple. Here's clear. Here's blue. I mean, is my thing just bugging out or what? Purple. Here's clear. And here's the red. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And it says Sarah right in there. I mean, does she have gold stuff too? Because it's not magnetic. I'm very confused, guys. Put down in the comments if you've ever come across Sarah Coventry with genuine gemstones. We're checking it out with 14 karat. No way, it's not going anywhere. What? Is this for real? I need to do more research on this. Yeah, Sarah is Sarah Coventry. There's no other markings. It does, I guess, kind of look like it could be gold. It's a little dark. But the line is not going anywhere still. Wow, okay. We are gonna do more research on this. Let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on this. And I'll have to let you guys know another time. Wow. All right, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. This is cool. Oh, I liked this one. So this, I don't think it was marked. No, and it's not sterling, it's magnetic, but I really like the look of it. It's, it does look like sterling until you turn it over. And no, there's definitely no marks, but I just think it's a really cool piece. And um, let's see, let's get a measurement. It does have a, an extender. So it can, this is total length. It can go from 13 inches to 16 inches total length. So a really nice collar necklace. I really like this one. Let's do, um, let's do eight on it. So this one is really cool. 
I almost kept this one for myself. Wait, how does it go? This way. Really pretty. It's got the little closure like so. It is like a mesh. It's in very excellent condition. And um, it's definitely a collar necklace. It sits right at the base of the throat. You have all these cool little pieces on it. I'll give you a total length. We're looking at 16 inches total. And we'll do $8 on this one. Okay, so this one's cool too. This is Chico's as well. These are all plastic beads though, but I really like the colors. A lot of um, like reds and browns. Look at that. So pretty. Even it looks like amber. I love these. Almost like a gold stone. Really pretty. You have this as the pendant or that. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so without the extender, it's 8 inches wearable, or it can go to 13 inches wearable, and we will do 12 on this one. Really pretty. This one is No Maker. It's a really nice gold tone snake chain, and I like this tassel. Really pretty. It's almost like an S kind of, or an eight. And then it has a really nice tassel. Really classic, classy. Uh, 15 and a half inches wearable. And let's do $6. All right, this is Avon. Let's just check these out. They are glass. It's a gold tone flat chain, oops, with green and clear glass stones. It does have the mark up here and it's a nine inch wearable length. Really pretty, really nice condition, um, $6. This says Japan on the little clasp. I thought it said something, it does not. They're all plastic, but they're very pretty. I love this, these striped ones with gold and black. 14 inch wearable length, um, $5. This is super mega long. It does not have a clasp. Let me just get a measurement really quick. Forty two inches wearable. This can be definitely tripled. <laughs> it has these really pretty like speckled beads on it. Gold tone. It's pretty lightweight. These almost look like little like eggs like little bird eggs or quail eggs or something really pretty really long really nice condition six dollars oh you guys this is so funny okay where are all my boss b-i-t-c-h is at they need this bracelet boss b boss b woohoo so cool Super chunky curb chain, really big letters. Boss. <laughs> it is a bracelet. It's in pretty good condition. It can go from eight inches to 10 inches. So it might even be a nice anklet. That'd be pretty cool hanging off your ankle. So let's do five on that. All right, this, okay, this is broken. Well, the chain that it's on, I'm not sure what happened here. 
You can always take this chain off and replace it with something. And it's a locket. Really nice condition. Let's do $6. Here we have a little um, bracelet. This is Monet marked here. It is a flat gold tone chain, eight and a half inches. Might even work as a anklet, um, five bucks. So I think we will get through this box. I only have a couple pieces left. Well, I shouldn't say couple, but we'll be able to get through the box. Okay, this is, okay, this is sterling. I did test this. So 925, um, all my stuff that I don't test, you know, in front of you guys, I do guarantee it. If anything happens, you know, you can return it, but it is sterling. I test it. Um, you guys would have to show like a vi video proof of you testing it and not coming up as sterling because <laughs> I do make sure everything is tested. I do remember checking this when I got it out of the box because it does, it is marked sterling everywhere. So this is a really cool piece. It is probably a nice collar necklace. Let me just measure it. Yeah, it's 18 inches. Well, it won't be a super collar necklace, but close. It'll sit under the collarbone at an 18 inch total length. Super, super nice condition. It is marked on the little link here and on the clasp. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 25 on it. Then this is you and I. Right there, you and I. Really pretty necklace. It's got all this um, tiger's eye hanging off of it. You got tiger's eye here and these danglies. The only thing, I think one of them fell off right here. So um, if anyone purchases this, you can probably either pick off the glue or if you have another piece of tiger eye to just stick it there. But um, I'll just do $4 on this since it is missing the one stone. Okay, this is Koro. And it's very cool. I think it kind of looks like a spine. <laughs> um, it's gold tone. It's in very good condition. It's marked there got the little tassel there the back looks like that this must feel so nice on like so slinky so um it's sitting at a seven inch wearable it can go to an eight inch wearable a nice collar necklace really cool let's do 12 on that Here's another earring we'll hold off on until I can get the mate. This is by Loft. Oops, got it backwards. And it's a double layer necklace with all these really cute charms. Hearts and locks and eyes and shamrocks and keys and wings and hamsas and hearts and peace signs and... <laughs> wishbones and shoe uh horseshoes and a flower and a pearl <laughs> it is gold tone there is a little bit of wear up here toward the neck uh the toward the back of the neck i should say um it does have an extender without it we're looking at an eight inch and nine inch wearable length um and we'll do five on that Here we have, what are you? I think, were you marked? Yeah, this is Napier. 
really pretty like groupings of faux pearls this is like a mesh like cord almost with the really cool fold over clasp and it is marked napier on the inside it is quite small so let me get a total length measurement 16 inches so it's a perfect collar necklace and we're going to do ten dollars all right i'm gonna dump out the rest because there's a lot of earrings at the bottom remember to check the sold list down in the comments section and all my information, if you ever have any questions, you can look in the description box. I should hopefully be able to answer all your questions there. All right, I wanted to show you guys that. All right, so let's look at this first. This is Simply Vera by Vera Wang, brand new in the box. They are three stretchy bracelets. I think these are glass. Yeah. So we're going to do um, $8 on these three. Here's another ring. Really pretty. This is just like a plastic cabochon. Um, it does have like a weird... See the line all the way around it? It's kind of weird. But other than that, it's in good shape. It is adjustable. But right now it sits at seven um a size seven so we'll just do five bucks i feel like i've sold like a ton of these bracelets this is sarah coventry right there gold tone flower panel bracelet good condition seven inches five dollars all right let's look at some earrings these are sarah coventry there it's like a um greenish faux stone with like some pink in there gold tone clip-on earrings they do have some weight to them um i'll do five dollars these earrings are so cool you guys they are glass. They're not marked, which is very weird. I think they actually go on your ear like this. But, I mean, even if you guys were to make a brooch out of these, like, it's so pretty. They're glass stones browns and gold tone really 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 pretty it almost actually looks like it could be gold with how fluid like the metal is no all right so we're gonna do um five dollars on these that's a steal of a deal if you, even if you want to repurpose them um oh here's this other one this is, ow, I just, <laughs> I just pinched my finger. These are not marked, but they're really pretty and they're in really good condition even though they're clip-ons. Little hoops. Uh, we'll do four on those. All right, I think I have more earrings. Oh yeah, here. These are Monet. They're really pretty gold tone, if I can get it straight, with the dangle pearl for pierced ears. We'll do five. Um, one fell on the floor. These are so cool. They're plastic or acrylic, and then look at the design on them with the ball at the bottom so cool for pierced ears i'll put backs on them if anyone buys them five dollars 
All right, let's see. We have some brooches. We have this big mama. This is Sarah Coventry, $5. I thought this was cute, so I included it. I don't do mornings. <laughs> we'll do two bucks. This brooch is BSK, silver tone, five bucks. This brooch is SC, so I'm guessing Sarah Coventry, five dollars, it's gold tone. Here's another ring, I thought this one was really pretty. It's just gold tone, um, it is Sarah Coventry as well, and it is adjustable. But right now it sits at a six. I'm sorry. Nope, yeah, that's right, a six. But it is adjustable, so let's do $5. This one, was just this one marked? No. And it's a little bit bent, but I thought it was really pretty with the little starburst and the blue cabochons. It sits at about a seven inch wrist. So um, I'll just do four since it has a little bit of a weird bend. Let me get a little sippy of my drink. Okay. Then we have this really cool piece. This is plastic or acrylic. There's no maker mark and the the chain is kind of broken off. Let's see, does it even fit through here? I don't even think so. I don't know, but someone might have to fix that. I just thought somebody might be able to um, craft with this. So I'm just gonna ask $2, really cool. Here is a um, copper bracelet. Seven inches. We'll do five bucks. This is a little pearl bracelet. It's faux pearl. There's the clasp, it's like a little butterfly. Really cute. Seven inches, we'll do $5. Here's another pair of earrings. These are just plastic cabochons in silver tone. Little danglies, uh, like a purplish and a blue bluish gray and we'll do four on those here's a really cool lion brooch I really like this one with the red eye no markings five dollars this I think is just a little pendant you can open it oh it's Roman it's Roman it's a little pendant and we'll do four dollars. This is sterling with I want to say I'm not sure if this is carnelian. I'm I'm gonna go more with an agate, but you guys can let me know in the comment section. It does have a pretty nice weight to it. Um, and we're going to do, well, let's get a measurement first. Nine and a half inches wearable. And let's do 15 on this one. Here is a rhinestone key pendant. With rhinest uh, clear and red. Nice for Valentine's Day. It's almost like a little heart. Uh, two bucks. Here's another pendant. Is this Roman too? Yeah, this is Roman as well. 
faux pearl and rhinestones, $3. This is $19.28. It's a little locket. It's a heart and it has a flower on it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it open with my nails. Let's see. There's nothing in it, I don't think. No. So this one, I'll get you a measurement. Seven inches wearable, so that's quite small. Um, Five dollars. We have this cute little heart stick pin. It's like a mini stick pin. It's so tiny. Um, Two dollars, gold tone. We have this little lucky horseshoe and rhinestone bracelet. It's got a, some slight wear up where the charms meet the bracelet, but it's pretty cute. It's an eight inch total length, but you can also make it six inch. So six to eight inches. Uh, we'll do four on that one. All right, I guess I don't have this earring. Oh no, here it is. So these earrings, they are kind of like a greenish, not glass and gold tone with the rhinestones. We'll do four bucks. All right, this I thought was cool. So this is a necklace that you can change out the pendants. It's by Sarah Coventry. And the chain is gold tone. It's pretty lightweight. It's a 13 inch wearable length. And then you have all of these. This one's like a red. This one's more like an orange. That's like a yellowish beige and a blue. Really cool. Sarah Coventry, and I'll do 12 on that one. Let me put everything back in the little baggie so nothing gets lost. All right, then last item. Oh, no, I have one more. So the second to last item I have is this International Concepts INC bracelet. Ooh, why is it so crazy? Uh, bracelet set... They are um, clampers, so they'll basically fit any size wrist, and they are gold tone. One has pearls and rhinestones, and one's just rhinestones. So I'm going to do 12 on this. $30 price tag. Oh, it says rose. Maybe it's rose gold. I guess it's always very hard for me to tell rose gold from gold sometimes. So I guess it is rose, girl, rose gold. So, all right, there's that. And then the very last piece is right here, which it's a gold stone necklace. Remember, gold stone is not natural. It is a man-made stone. It's actually glass. And this I thought said something, yeah. Where's my loop? It is 120th, 14K. What does that mean? N, L? That's weird. I don't know, but it's 120th, 14K something. I think it's really pretty. Dainty little chain. Nine inches wearable, the pendant's tiny, half an inch about. So let's do um, 10 bucks on that. Really nice condition. I'll put it back in the bag so it doesn't get tangled with anything else. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one.